Hello there, great people. I hope you are doing well. Greetings from Portugal. Thank you for stopping by. So today, as you can see in the title, we are going to talk a little bit about the new iPhone XS, okay? And I already made a video regarding this and regarding the speed test, you know, between an iPhone, not speed test, you know, daily usage and opening apps between an iPhone 8 and the, the, the new iPhone 10s. Okay, let's wait here a little bit for him to unlock. Okay. And, uh, you know, in that video, and don't expect here a review, I'm just telling you what is going to happen, okay? And it, what is my opinion on these brand new shiny luxury phones. Now, when I look, uh, I've been switching, you know, back and forward uh, with one and another. I'm now with my SIM card again with my iPhone 8 because this is the iPhone that I feel more comfortable using. Why? First, this phone, this iPhone 8, cost me around, uh, I suppose it was about 700 euros, okay, here in Portugal. And this one, uh, 1100 euros, okay? Now, when I look... Uh, when I, I, I take these phones out, okay, I'm extremely comfortable on, you know, having this phone on my pocket, putting, put it on the table, you know, on the car, connecting the cables, okay, no worries, okay, no worries whatsoever. But with this one, I'm, you know, all, I'm afraid uh, of, you know, of, of dropping the phone, of scratching the phone, because this is, you know, it, it is a piece of jewelry and uh, you know the price it's uh, it's an overpriced you know device for something that we take every day out okay and we take a risk every day of dropping it <clears throat> and sorry sorry I'm, I'm still uh, a little bit with the flu and you know if we drop this kind of phone the, the you know the, the repair will be extremely you know um, costly but what i want to refer here is they are both running ios 12.1 beta you can check also that in the channel but in fact what i use it's the same apps i still use my work apps i still use my social media apps youtube safari and the camera. Let's speak a little bit about the camera. Of course, this camera on the iPhone XS, it's better than this one. But, you know, when I was taking pictures uh, on this, you know, I'm using this phone, I don't know, for a week now. So today is the 28th. So I the, the phone was, was delivered on the 21st. So seven days uh, using this phone. And in fact, even with the camera, you know, all the small photos that I take here and there, honestly, I, I don't find, you know, anything extremely different. The back, the back cameras are both record in 4K at 30 frames per second. The front facing camera, both are 1080p. This one records at 60 frames per second. This one records at 30, but well, not a issue for me the portrait mode guys uh it is a gimmick it works uh it's still not uh, very well polished but it works okay and for you fans of taking you know selfies uh, uh you know many times for you okay perfect for me um I have don't I, I don't use this okay uh, I use it two or three times like the emojis I skipped the iPhone 10 I already told you told my subscribers they, they know that the emojis you know I called my daughters uh, you know to have a laugh and uh, you know I use it one once nothing more so when I look at these two devices they do exactly the same you know software wise the apps that I use you know this is mirror it's a mirror uh, 
I have the same apps on the iPhone 10 as and the same apps on the 8. So I use everything. It's the same. Everything, you know, when I click an app, you know, YouTube, everything launched almost at the same time. No worries. OK, so it is perfect. Again, one more thing. This is the iPhone 10s, you know, I never uh, I, I never bought a, a plus on the on the si 6, 7 and 8. I never bought a plus. I like this form factor, okay? I want something to feel comfortable in my hands and that I can, you know, swipe and everything, go to the notification center, go to, to go to the control center, everything fluid. On this one, guys, I know if I want to go, I will try and explain. If I want to go to the control center, no, I, I didn't. Oh no, I couldn't. If I want, let me try. If I want to go, I have to put my hands here and then, okay, I was able to do that. On this, uh, you know, I just swipe down and I'm here. Okay, I just go and swipe down and i'm in the notification in the notification center so no worries okay in this uh and i i, I can't imagine the 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 10s uh, max I, I can't imagine okay I, I know it was the best seller but i can't imagine a phone of that size in trying with one hand to reach you know the notification center that is easy um but then when you go, I don't know if you guys, I can, well, let me show you here with this and it's, 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 it's uh, but look, I can almost drop the phone. Not easy, guys, not easy. Um, what I want to see here, in fact, is uh, that Apple implements, uh, you know, uh, on-screen touch ID, okay? In order for people to uh, have the opportunity to use one and another, and you know to invoke the control center in a different way that is something that needs to be polished regarding you know the software for me software is more important than, than hardware okay guys it is a bit a beautiful phone don't get me wrong beautiful pictures okay beautiful device everything you know it this is a luxury device and uh, but i cannot okay um how I, I can tell you this since I'm using the same old apps as always, why do I need a phone that costs 1100 euros? I don't need that, okay? Perhaps what I w will do, uh, it's, you know, keep this phone for one more year, still with the A11 Bionic, more than perfect, quick, nothing, you know, the camera, 4K recording, 1080p on the front, uh, takes my takes my pictures when I want, every picture is okay, and if I want better pictures, guys, I have my camera, okay, uh, my professional camera. No, I cannot uh, justify this price for this device, okay, guys, see, I'm looking, okay, wait, swipe, <sighs> no, I'm not used to that, okay, already, unlocked. What can I tell you? See, I dropped the phone. In this one, I have to go with all the careful in the world and, you know, try not to drop it and I try not to scratch it, scratch it. I don't need, well, I don't need any stress about that, okay? Uh, I manage my money, you know, very well, okay? And I think if I buy this phone, well, I already bought it, but I, I can still return it. But if I buy this kind of device, you know, I'm saying to all the phone manufacturers, Apple, of course, and the other ones, that we as consumer allow them to put these, con these, these phones with prices uh, higher than 1000 euros. OK, and without that amount of money, I can, you know, buy a computer. I can buy a used car for my daughter. Well, she's still young, but a used car. I can buy, you know, equipment for this channel, a new camera, new lights. There are lots and lots of things that I that I could buy. Or if I don't buy it, well, I keep it on my on my wallet and on, on my pocket. And then when something appears, you know, that it's, it is in fact a revolution and not an evolution. And that's why Apple took from their, their website the iPhone 10 in order not to cannibalize the sales of this iPhone XS, okay? 
for the first time, I told this already in a previous video, Apple took a, a model from last year. And that's it, guys. So what is going to happen? I, I think you already understood by the video. Uh, I will return the phone. I will not keep this, okay? It doesn't make, for me, no sense to have an $1,100 phone that does exactly the same thing as this one, okay? I still use it as, it as well, the same apps. Well, I'm repeating myself. I don't, don't want to ramble and to take uh, all of your time. This is my opinion. Beautiful phone. Um, but, uh, you know, I do what I want with my money. And if I'm not happy, the wow factor, you know, it was incredible when I opened the phone. Beautiful design. Amazing. But I have to take in consideration that I have to have you know, a device that I feel comfortable using, okay? And this is my workhorse. And this is, you know, a beauty queen, you know, it's like a car that you must keep in the garage. This, you can take it wherever I want, wherever I want. I don't, I, I'm not afraid, you know, of using this phone. And with this one, guys, I am. The apps are the same, everything, it's the same. And, you know, the market has to change. We have reached a ceiling, you know, in revolution. It is, you know, small tweaks here and there, small, better camera, better screen, you know, OLED screens. But, you know, this LCD screen on this iPhone 8 is still perfect. I believe the iPhone 10R will be good, will be, you know, a good uh, improvement for someone that wants, you know, a, a bigger screen. But I, I think I, I'll wait for the next year phone in order to see if Apple, if, if Apple in fact, uh, you know, surprises because they haven't done that in a long, long time. Guys, thank you so much for watching. The, the phone will be in the box and will be directly to sent to Apple. Thank you so much for watching. Put on, put on the comments below what you think. And uh, guys, I will see you in the next one with Mac OS Mojave, with iPhones and, you know, Mac apps. You know the drill. Thank you. Keep safe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.